वंदे गुरुपद्द भक्त बिंदु समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सामुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु बच पतिता पावन वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंग हैतगिर यत्तम हंग बंदे परमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसीदेव तो वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पद देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चुनुतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पात्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोवरुण देय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम <coughs> तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजनुत शरण्यम भेतातिहम पनुत बाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमि छटाए विस्फुर्जीत किमी गोपोधूष्वदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति सारादि कामी कदा काम करीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनिंद <coughs> श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनिंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे <coughs> हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाम बरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे <coughs> हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बोधा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो <coughs> करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नि भावाण सदा नरान <coughs> गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तो बाम भागम 
narayano priya manango mada puharam varanasi purapati bhajavi ishanatham bhagi sajusho vadane lakshmi rjasya cha bhakshashi jasya stehidai sambhir tam nishingam aham bhaji hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari hari hare ram hare ram 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 hare hare adau shadhya tatah sadhu sang atho bhajan kriya tato anarth nivritti hi sat tato nishtha ruchi hi tatah अथा शक्ति स्तु भाव स्त प्रेमाभुदी साधुकाम प्रेमण पदुर्भा भवि प्रम आदौध्या तत साधुसंग अथो भजन क्रिया तथो अनथ निवृत्ति सात निष्ठा रुचिस्त अथा शक्ति स्तो भाव स्त प्रेमाभुदी साधुकामय प्रेमण पादुर्भव भवि क्रम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर जगदुरु टोल्ड फ्लैग ऑफ धर्म इन देयर हैंड दे आर जस्ट टेकिंग ऑल द बॉन्डेड सोल इन टू मोर बॉन्डेड कंडीशन that those who are the flag holders of dharma actually they are just taking all uh, uh, bonded soul into more bonded situation more bonded condition the who is dharma dwaji actually actually dharma dwaji is that person who is always in the name of bhajan actual bhajan actually he in the name of his bhajan uh he is just making uh, uh, take he is taking the flag in his hand but he is not taking the siddhant vichar of all pure guru vaishnav and they are not taking the siddhant vichar of shila rup ko swami pad externally they are saying that they are rupanuga but they don't have any siddhant vichar of rup, rup ko swami pad they are just going uh, up and down they are actually called dharma dhwaj they are just taking the flag of that dharma in their hand that's it they are just uh, waving that flag but in uh, actual they are not uh, following anything their adarsh acharan of these kind of people actually it is contaminated their adarsh acharan uh, means that in sahaj roop in actual roop we can understand that uh, all guru varshanam the adarsh acharan of pure guru vaishnav is actually bhakti adarsh acharan means uh, by just speaking that uh, all the pure guru vaishnavs whatever the pathway they have shown us actually of of bhajan mark but prabhupad here actually speaking here that this dharma dwaji gane dharma acharan that they are just giving external acharan and uh, uh, about they are just showing the external acharan it is all wrong that's why the all the bonded souls actually they are bonded condition actually whatever condition bonded condition they are getting all those bonded souls what is present there in their life their condition become more worst just by following them more worst that's why prabhupad uh, actually used to speak this point dharma dhwaji gane dharma acharan 
आचरण बौद्ध जी के आरु अधिक तरो बौद्ध तो साय लिया जाए that their condition is already in they are already in bonded condition all those bonded souls but uh, they will become more bonded uh, when they will follow them because all these persons actually they are blind and they are also uh, making other blind as well and they are also taking them in darkness and when they are just uh, uh just uh, uh, uh falling them into the uh, ditch of well or in the in the hole of a well that's why prabhupad used to speak that this step this point that uh, the karam of bhajan what is the actual step by step process of our bhajan what uh, i have already spoken to you that if you will uh, you not follow the step by step process of actual bhajan then you will become a sahajiya definitely of this there is no doubt so that you have to follow that step by step process of uh, bhajan first of all you should have shraddha preliminary shraddha so you should have under the guidance of padma pradakha guru you have just changed your heart you are just getting that preliminary shraddha inside your heart after that this preliminary shraddha you are after that you going towards you are uh, have that uh, to get association of sadhu sang when you will get the association of a pure version of pure sadhu there is a very important thing in this point very important point here that sadhu sang ye sadhu sang ka jo shabd hai sadhu sang actually what do you mean by this sadhu sang there is an in depth meaning in this sadhu sang that i have already told it previously in the previous hari katha i don't know the hari katha but i have told it already that that person who is doing sadhu sang what is the actual meaning of sadhu sang that to just uh, uh, just to change your heart by taking sadhu sang we just have the desire to have uh, uh, taking diksha from some gurudev sadguru and if uh, some madwadi is coming uh, to kodiya math and is giving donation there as well but in the last 20 years he didn't have that desire to take uh, the sadguru ashray to take diksha from a sadguru he didn't get that uh, desire to get a guru charan ashray from the last 20 years why because his mind is actually different he don't want to do bhakti actually he actually just want to give a donation etc to kodiya math but he has that anya bilash inside his heart he has a other desire other motive so that it can get full in his life he has anya bilash inside his heart so that's why because of that if he is coming from last 20 years in godia but but still he is actually kisi category mein phelana you cannot uh, 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 can, he cannot be fallen into any category proba speaking that he is actually fallen and he is totally material साधु संग देन वी गेट बॉन्ट टू गेट द एसोसिएशन ऑफ साधु इन साइड अवर हार्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट इन रिलेशन टू दैट वी ऑलवेज वॉन्ट वी डेफिनेटली गेट द साधु साधु सदगुरु लोटस वेट दिस इज द एक्चुअल प्रभाव ऑफ द एसोसिएशन ऑफ साधु संघ सो डेफिनेटली ही विल गेट सदगुरु लोटस वेट it is guru charan ashray is already there in sadhu sang association because sadguru is already by taking a shelter of guru dev means you are uh, taking shelter of a sadhu just to follow his uh, pathway and under his anugatya doing everything so that is also sadhu sang this shloka so this is the so do sadhu sang means to do uh, guru sang actually sadhu shraddha tato sadhu sang uska baad after that to take guru charan ashray and to just have build our to discover our relationship with the uh, krishna and then it will come inside our heart that relationship with krishna sambandh and then after that bhajan kriya so rupa swami pada already written here it in, in in depth meaning is that that in sadhu sang there is preliminary sadhu sang before 
then after that you will get ado shraddha some preliminary shraddha inside your heart then you will get association of a sadhu you will get that feeling and after get doing sadhu sang association of sadhu then you will get uh, to get guru charan ashray and after taking shelter of a guru then sambandh gyan gets activated inside your heart and after uh, getting uh, sambandh gyan then bhajan kriya will start so this is all the step by step procedure uh, uh, they are hidden and when the bhajan kriya is going on then definitely anarthani vritti will come all the anarth will get destroyed when you are in bhajan kriya but if in the name of bhajan kriya uh, if uh, it uh, everything get reversed then anarth will go on increasing in the name of sadhu sang by sadhu sang only bhajan kriya is possible and after that anarthani vritti is possible but if it comes in reverse form then anarth will definitely go on increasing it will not get reduced anarth will not get destroyed but in turn with it will increase rapidly lot of anarth will increase there are not of uh, points in this so after that you will get nishtha inside your heart then your uh, heart will be just uh, going then you will get ruchi that your heart is not going toward material things now you are just uh, naturally going towards krishna now after nishtha you will get re- ruchi natural uh, attraction towards krishna krishna bhajan and then you will get asakti tremendous affinity and attraction towards an in depth uh, attraction towards krishna bhajan bhakti and after that bhav after that bhav comes and then after that prem will uh, come prem is a very far distant thing for us for a sadhak for all those sadhak devotees actually in the way of the bhajan it is a very uh, very useful uh, point this prem when it will get nourished inside his heart it is uh, this is the procedure of step by step bhajan we have to follow that it is a gradual promotional procedure it is gradual promotional procedure if we will not follow this gradual promotional procedure then then uh, there will be no question of any bhajan then we are actually not following any rup go swami pad if we are not following this step by step procedure of bhajan so in rasamrit sindhu also in rup go swami pad is actually telling in bhakti rasamrit sindhu that uh, rup go swami pad this is the siddhant vichar rup go swami pad and in updesh amrit what we are talking about uh, this is actually the summary of bhakti samrit sindhu and i have already discussed this point as well previously that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in allahabad uh, to rushila rup go swami pad he was giving all the shiksha instructions to rup go swami pad it is actually the uh, summary of uh, updesh amrit what we are getting it now of this there is no doubt Uh, previously i have just discussed it uh, from previous sari katha now that all uh, our all gaudiya bhakt p- devotees all our all we gaudiya bhakt or gaudiya uh, gaudiya devotees we are actually thinking ourselves as a rupanug and we are just giving our uh, identity as a rupanug and we are just become very happy after giving our identity as a rupanug all uh, our gaudiya all we gaudiya bhakt are uh, just giving our identity as a, a rupanug and we become very happy and we are just feeling very proud and we are feeling very full of anand when we are speaking that we are rupa rupanugatya rupanug devotees the shlok which i have started previously that manasah krodh vegam jiv bhavigam udarpastha vegam sarva bhavi bhavi वाक्य वेग योर मनोवेग योर क्रोध वेग एंड योर जीवा वेग उदरोपस्त वेग ऑल दी सिक्स काइंड ऑफ वेग आज यू हैव टू दीज आर एक्चुअली लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर इज देयर इन आर ऑन आर बॉडी ऑन आर सप्टल बॉडी 
So if it is getting controlled, if all these six kinds, different kinds of vagues, actually we can control it, the pressure of them, then then the whole earth, then we can the whole earth we can just uh, rule over that. Of of this there is no doubt that the person will be he will be just uh, I've already told about Vakavik in the previous Hari Katha that uh, that without listening to Hari Katha or Bhagwan not to listen to any materialistic activities and not to talk about anything material it comes in Vakavik and talking all rubbish and just all talking rob, uh, rubbish and garbage about materialist uh, material this is actually vakya vek but to talk about bhagwan naam dham parikar parikar vashisht everything about the glorification of devotees that is not coming in the category of vakya vek it is actually it actually becomes bhajan so those persons who are actually i have already told about man vek as well but because uh, the archit has a tremendous uh, speed it will just it is very difficult to uh, control our chit and and mind arjun have already told to krishna i have questioned it to krishna that uh, uh, it is uh, impossible to control our mind that uh, krishna that you have told me to uh, we have to control our this uh, mind uh, but uh, this material mind is very difficult to control it is next to impossible to control like uh, a wind is blowing and uh, it is very difficult to stop wind it is very difficult to stop wind in the similar manner uh, my mind is like a wind and uh, my this man vague it is very difficult to control but bhagwan actually speaking uh, shri krishna speaking to arjun okay no worries your you are actually telling it right but still it is possible how bola abhyasena tu kantiyo vairagyena chagriyati abhyasena by just practicing abhyasena tu kantiyo vairagyena chagriyati abhyas yog by doing abhyas by just practicing by doing abhyas yog you can uh, do it uh, converted into possibility you can definitely control your mind all these things are possible by doing abhyas yoga by practicing it this is very important to carefully just listen to this previously what bhakti vinod thakur has uh, made uh, this in a simple language bhakti vinod thakur has uh, just given a commentary on this i have already talked about this a uh, point of bhakti vinod thakur i have just came to this point that that all these vegs six kind of vegs ye chha kism ka jo veg all these six kind of vegas we have to just uh, we have to take the uh, uh, ashray of krishna naam and we jiva veg pehle bataya jiva veg means I told Makumeg, Manuveg, Krodveg, Jeevaveg, Udropastveg. All kind of these are all kind of rubbish. Kind of all all six kind of are uh, dangerous and rubbish. All these six kind of veg to just uh, uh, handle the pressure of all these six veg. If we take the ashray of Krishna Nam, Krishna Hari Nam Sankirtan. then we can control the we can rule over the whole earth we can control this whole earth bhakti vinod thakur speaking this point bhajani jatnavan sei jibe sri rup goshami mahodoy upadeshamrite dhanno karen nishchay grihi grihat tagi bhede dipokar jane upadesh bhed vicharibe I have already discussed this point previous in a previous hari katha that uh, whatever the updesh given to that renounced order renounced person as well as for the grah person it is all applicable to them as well both of them all these six kinds of vegas these are all kind of rubbish vegas actually it is actually t- making uh, all the jivatmas going into hell all these kind of six vegas the it can all be destroyed by just taking the shelter of krishna naam 
just by taking the shelter of Krishna Nam Sankirtan, it is all get destroyed. If someone is going taking the shelter of Krishna Nam, then if he can just rule the whole world. And he can rectify the whole uh, world. He actually become capable of uh, uh, taking the whole world, rule the whole world. And he don't have any fear inside his heart. Fear is not there inside his heart. In his heart there is no, not at all any kind of fear you can find. In the heart of the devotee. Only uh, surrender onto the lotus feet of Krishna, that is Sharnagati. That what is not good for. With the, so, when we get uh, 100% Sharnagati onto the lotus feet of Krishna, then uh, that bhakti of that sadhu is become Krishna bhakti, Krishna mai. And at that point, and whatever which is not good for bhakti, uh, uh, those conditions, he will just uh, all uh, quit all those things. And he will get that uh, feeling to just quit all those things which are not good for bhakti. Only just by taking the sharnagati onto lotus feet of Krishna. Just by uh, handling the pressure of all those six Vegas, he will get uh, by taking the shelter of Yukta Vairagya and by taking shelter of uh, Nam Prabhu without any Nam Prabhu, without having Nam Aparad onto the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu, he can just by taking shelter of Naam Prabhu without any Naam Aparad then after that only it is possible for him that is called actually Nirbhay he will, he will be just relieved from all the kind of Anya Vilash and Kamana Vasana inside his heart because by Kamana Vasana and fear fear just got uh, fear just got activated inside our heart when we have Anya Vilash then definitely fear will be there inside our heart when uh, Anya Bilas is gone in, from inside our heart, in Bhagavad Ji Mahaprana, in the seventh canto, it is written. When, uh, when an individual is just throwing out Kamana Vasana from his heart, when at, at that point when there is uh, when that person will quit all kind of kamana vasana from inside his heart when all the materialistic activities whatever attraction is there for this material world will go out from the heart of that person from that individual bonded soul will will get completely destroyed when he should have that transcendental Kamana Vasana inside him, but that material uh, Vasana, Kamana Vasana goes out from his heart. At that point, that bonded soul, that person, he will become so much powerful that you can't uh, even imagine that he will get uh, so much power from Bhagwan, that he will get so much Kripa, that he will just... Uh, uh, he can realize the Sachidananda Swarup of Bhagavan also. That he can also understand that I am also Chinmay, I am not material. At that point then he becomes like Bhagavan, not that. It means that Bhagavan is Chinmay, is transcendental and I am also at the transcendental platform. So, Vakya Vega, I have already told about that. Man Vega, uh, it is not uh, that easy to get uh, control over our mind, your chit. And then Bhagavan speaking that you have to practice your Abhyas Yoga. Only by doing Abhyas Yoga, only slowly, steadily, you will just get uh, control over your material mind. Then, Vairagya will get inside your heart. 
and you will get a detastefulness from this uh, material world all these material things of this matter you will get detasteful jiva beg man means that like jagdanand prabhu jagdanand pandit in a very simple language has uh, has written in prem vivarth he has uh, uh, he has written in prem vivarth a very small book those who are actually taking very good good kind of foods who just were they were going here and there to just eat good good food uh, there is one bhandara and there i will go and i'll get very nice delicious food whosoever has that desire inside his heart for him bhajan is impossible to do jagdanand pandit actually has written in prem vivrat prem vivrat about this that you are just uh, getting uh, uh, the lust for ha- taking uh, different kind of delicious foods and every jeev is going hither and hither way to just uh, take nice nice foods actually he is aur iska sath wo jo khane ka whatever those who are actually brave in just taking only food they will the lot of calm is there inside their heart those who are very brave in taking lot of foods udhar pet mein acha khao then he said uh, you should take nice nice food and you should take lot of food he always have that uh, which are inside his heart and that's why his heart is full of calm material karma bhagwan has already told this point that uh, in order to control your jiva veg if someone can control this jiva veg then uh, all, then everything will uh, get automatically done if you can control your jiva veg those who are actually just controlling their jiva their taste actually everything will get automatically because everything is in one line your eyes your your nose your ears everything is in one line and when you will go more down and down then it is your uh, intestine in hindi it is speaking like this upasth means that uh, when you will uh, control your jiva veg your taste that uh, what you, this is good and this how this is bad to eat when it is all gone from your heart then you don't want to eat anything you don't wish to eat good food then uh, when he just got uh, uh, control over this uh, jiva veg then everything automatically all the vegas will get control automatically that's why it is written in bhagavad ji mahapuran that bhagwan shri krishna speaking to uddhav ji that those that that rasna that rasna means your tongue jeete rase jeetam sar jeete rase jitendriya ke that person who has already control his tongue about regarding taste that is actually jitendriya he has just win over all the material sense organs dusra sare indriyo gram ko then automatically your he he can't control his other material sense organ if he can't control his tongue rasna jay kar liya if he has just uh, uh, just uh, get uh, victory over the ras like uh, uh, he has just quit all the nice nice kind of delicious foods and if he has just uh, get victory over that then every automatically everything will get uh, into one line will get controlled but for that time he is not jitendriya he is not to just get victory over all the material sense organs if uh, he has he is not actually jitendriya why because he hasn't got control over his rasna rasna means his tongue that mahabhagwat ji mahapuran speaking here 
that he has control he can control all the material sense of organs but still he is not jitendra why because if his jiva his tongue he is not uh, getting victory over that then by taking victory over the tongue then everything is get control everything is get victory then automatically slowly slowly everything will you will get victorious over each and every material sense or one bhagwat ji mahaprabhu it is written and uska baad antim line mein likha hai and in the last line it is written this to jiva veg so jiva veg if you get control over that you jiva veg then automatically then you when you have that which are of uh, it you will quit that which are that i will not take too much food then our ling and everything it will actually get controlled they will get pure rupa swami pad actually speaking this then uh, slowly steadily by living only if he will just get victory over all these six kind of veg then he can he can just uh, rule over the whole world he has that much power he actually becomes ko swami all this kind of six veg if someone can control then you can understand one this of this point then he can he can become goswami he actually will become goswami he can just rule over the whole whole earth whole world he can uh, rule over this whole world he has that uh, power one what is uh, actually useful uh, for your bhajan shila rup go swami pad actually already told in the samrit sindhu about this point this point it in the other, other point it is written all this slow it is written in this shloka anukul jitna sar anukul that all kind of uh, things which are useful for bhajan it uh, in the life of a sadhak that he has to take a vow uh, to take this and all those are not beneficial for bhajan you have to quit that anukul ka sankalpo and you have to take a vow of taking all that is beneficial for krishna bhajan and to quit all that is not beneficial at all for krishna bhajan you just have to take this uh, thing are anukullo sab grohan karne se hamara bhakti ho jayega anukullo if we can take a vow of taking all that is useful for bhakti then we can get bhakti ye bhakti ka it is written here that in the it is not an actual ang of shuddh bhakti limb limb of actual bhakti but in the way of getting that shuddh bhakti it is important whether when he will get that anukulya sankalp inside his heart and he will just quit all the things that is not good for bhakti it doesn't mean that he will get bhakti but it means that it is just the way of uh, uh, getting shuddha bhakti but it is not the actual direct limb of shuddha bhakti but but to get that uh, right on how to do actual bhakti Uh, it is a very important point like to get sharanagati sharanapati onto the lotus feet of krishna it is the actual limb of getting shraddha anukulya sankalpa pratikulya vivarjanam rakshashya shiti vishasu guptitya varanam yatha isi shlok mein this shlok actually all the things whatever which is not uh, good for uh, krishna bhajan uh, you have to just quit them it in this shloka it is uh, explained in this shloka that you have to uh, control over your vakya ve krodh ve give all the kind of six vegas you have to control get control over them and all these six kinds of vegas actually if someone can if a person can can control it and is getting successful in controlling all these six vegas then 
then he can just rule over the whole earth whole world all the shlokas actually if we just discuss this all shlokas in in depth in depth then we can understand that then kaam kro lobo matse all the six kind of enemies these are all actually uh, utpat inside our uh, body subtle body and fine body and especially in the life of a sadhak in the bhakti jeevan it is very dangerous for them all the six kind of enemies and the life of that uh, individual it will make it more dangerous uh, for them their situation will be more si- dangerous it is just like a utpat not good at all and uh, whatever uh, all these kind of things it will come in his heart it is very difficult for him and vakya vek in cat- in category of vakya vek it comes like in chaitanya charitamrit it is written that that by body speech and mind you don't have to give any uh, distress to anyone it is already written in chaitanya charitamrit but this shloka actually uh, they are everyone is taking undue advantage of this shloka it is written they are telling this thing that you see it is written but the guru vishnu were always giving udvek to them like prabhupad already have uh, in his last uh, uh, vani he has just before leaving this body he has told that i have given lot of uh, distress to you and uh, in order to uh, establish yourself into nishkapat bhajan i have uh, uh, given you very sore uh, bhajan tips but uh, today or tomorrow you will definitely get that i am not uh, i am not their enemy actually but i am actually always thinking of their uh, uh, of their advantage only this actually spoken by prabhupad in this uh, last vani before leaving his body in chaitanya charitamrit also it is written this shloka by body speech and mind Uh, you should not give any distress to anyone this kind of shlok uh, condition it it doesn't mean that by the all the guru gurudev cannot uh, speak anything uh, uh, regarding bhajan so that i can get pratishtit in bhajan and he is just speaking uh, uh, some very harsh vani and uh, he is going against chaitanya charitamrita it is not like that this shloka this shloka actually everyone is taking undue advantage of this shloka and he, he, you don't have to uh, stop speaking about that absolute truth uh, this prabhupad actually told by just uh, taking undue advantage of this uh, shastra vachan you don't need to stop uh, speaking about that absolute truth you have to speak the, about that absolute truth in front of all by just speaking about that absolute truth all jeevas actually will be getting distress but still by in the distress situation also they will definitely get uh, uh, advantage in the uh, final stage it is very mangalmay full of happiness but now it seems that it is distress that's why prabhupad speaking that this kind of shloka you don't need to take undue advantage of this shloka you have to actually speak about that uh, absolute truth that is very so to all other but still you have to speak that in front of all those bonded souls we can just speak about this uh, shloka that this is also called some mental torture as well i am not doing any physical assault but i am not uh, uh, but i am just speaking about that that they are actually getting distress inside his heart internally isko bhi kyunki court mein bhi aisa because uh, this is a rule in and regulation in the court as well if uh, someone is ilaka mein ek hua ek case hua i have one case in amar krishna nagar area only that one person actually has uh, mental aisa has given uh, mental torture to one uh, child jo antim mein that in last at last 
he has done uh, suicide he has done suicide at last what is the actual reason after that uh, police has just seen that that whatever this uh, uh, sore uh, feeling and thoughts he is actually giving to that child that is actually the main cause behind the suicide of that child he has actually uh, given mentally assault given mentally assault but he actually that person is the original reason because of his mental torture towards that child he actually has done suicide he is actually bound to do that suicide so because of that all the policemen just uh, taken him into the jail so in mental torture it comes it comes in mental torture actually but whatever guru vaishnav actually pure guru vaishnav are giving pravachan this is actually not mental torture whatever uh, the guru vaishnav are just uh, taking out uh, inside our heart if they will not see the faults uh, in me then how to do bhajan if they will not uh, uh, show us those pure guru vaishnav and all those paramhans they will not show us that actual pathway of the real bhajan and they will not fault uh, not find fault in us then we can't uh, uh, we can't actually uh, we can't actually uh, uh, get educated in this uh, pathway of krishna bhajan so kaiman vakya means it is general applicable and all those pure guru vaishnav those who are by pure shuddh mani they are actually just uh, protecting all those bonded soul it is not applicable on them but prabhupada already has taken this point spoken this point that i have given a lot of distress uh, by just giving a uh, uh, lot of strict rules and regulations of hari bhajan to you and giving you strict hari katha i am just giving that uh, distress inside your heart but still you believe me that uh, i just want that you should to come with nishkapat bhav in this bhajan life and and with nishkapat bhav i always want that you should get that pure hari bhajan inside your heart so that you can get established in pure krishna bhajan that's why i have just spoken like this that's why they are always thinking that i am their enemy it is already written by prabhupad that's why they are just thinking myself that uh, i am their enemy they are just thinking like that and uh, they are just thinking me that like i am their enemy and if their luck is very good in some life they can definitely understand in some life that what this baba actually speaking is actually right is for my is very useful for me what prabhupad has told they will definitely get this point one day and prabhupad also have uh, given this detailed uh, uh, th- detailed uh, thing about this point that uh, about jeev himsa the meaning of jeev himsa in detail kai man by body speech and man uh, by doing a physical assault with your body and by your just to give uh, your with your Uh, to give pain to others by Lekin mental torture is uh, strictly prohibited but job was speaking here that that all those uh, normal persons bonded souls they are always thinking that to do physical assault is actually jeev hinsa they are thinking like this baba ji ne actually speaking this point that they the normal bonded soul always think that someone has given a physical assault they are just uh, injuring him and just uh, this is actually come in the category of jeev hansa it is in in general it is a jeev hinsa only but actually if you will just uh, think that it doesn't come in jeev hinsa because jeev actually x and y mission actually x mission is a a very big swami ji there is one uh, big Jaane swami ji swami ji inhone actually gal, he, gal he is actually Jeeve speaking wrong they are, they don't have actually tattva gyan so that's why they don't have tattva gyan so how they are actually speaking like this jeeve pe hum kare jai jan sai jan se vishesh they are actually speaking like this all rubbish and reverse direction they are taking no negative direction everyone they are taking
Prabhupada actually speaking that all these jivas actually, the conception of jiva, actually all these X and Y missions, they are just thinking that uh, this body is actually jiva. They are all mayavadi, more or less they are all mayavadi. They are thinking that a jeev is actually ek jeev baat. Like in Bhagavatam, all they have just uh, uh, destroyed this ek jeev baat. In Gita also it is written. Loka jeev, Vood Sanatana, this ek jeev baat. Uh, conception. This jeev actually is Sanatan is like a chit particle, transcendental. It all has come from me only. So lot of jeev have come uh, from, how many jeev has come from me? One jeev? No, it's countless. So it is also supportive from Gita and Bhagavatam also. But their mind is so much, uh, uh, so much foolish that all the persons are just uh, uh, speaking that they are intelligent, like Swamiji is actually very intelligent, very super intelligent. But Gaudiamat can explain that Swamiji has nothing, they don't have actually uh, Gyan for ABC also, they don't have that uh, Gyan for spiritual line, no Gyan for them. They have just actually destroyed the concept of Ek I have also have done a lot of uh, uh, just uh, destroyed the conception of Ek Jeeva. Jeeva is actually pointless, Jeeva is not one. Yeah, from Madhvacharya also I was just explaining that Shuddh Dvaitavad that I am just the Siddhanta Vichar of Madhvacharya and Gaudiyamat is only one Sim. Madhvacharya speaking that there is just difference of uh, some word in Madhvacharya and Gaudiyamat Siddhanta he is actually speaking about that so all this, there are infinity jivas. In Bhagavatam also it is written that jiv is actually infinity, infinite, in number. And from infinity time, here, all these jiv, jivas are actually going on. If all these people actually, if they are actually uh, taking this point in their life, that uh, I actually was born actually my my uh, birth is there at the place where they are just uh, those people those who are speaking in Paramans all those market people are speaking in Paramans there that uh, his uh, that person actually is the guru is Paramans is living, living in that building I have already seen that so my birth was also there so, so, so big big fishes were there. Nowadays actually no fishes are there. I, I cannot, in dream I cannot uh, see how much weight is there of each and every fish. They are actually all those two, three persons are taking into that fish and just cutting it into pieces. And uh, what uh, they actually can speak, they are actually just uh, offering, uh, uh, they are actually... They are actually offering uh, a fish uh, to Devi Ma, but actually they are not offering onion to Ma. So what is the point of offering fish to Ma and not offering onion to Ma? So you also just uh, make offering of onion when you are just giving blood and flesh. When you are just offering blood and flesh to Ma, then you also can, uh, what is the difference? You can also offer to onion garlic also to Devi. No worries, Devi can eat it. It is just, you can just laugh at this point. Those you are actually talking about, Swamiji, actually he is one disciple. He actually used to give me sweet in my hand. At that point I was child, I just used to take sweet from his hand. So now, I was actually child at that point, I was, it was out of my mind. But now I can just understand this this point actually what he's speaking. In my exam, in my school, I have just passed one exam uh, by just writing it down there in the exam. Now I can just uh, rectify this point that they are actually number one, uh, they are making foolish everyone. Whatever prem you have on for all the jivas, then why you are eating uh, fish and flesh? If you have a prem for all the jivas, it means that they are actually uh, uh, thinking that all those human beings are actually jiva. All other uh, fish and animals, they are not actually jiva. They are not counting them as jivas. 
सो दे आर एक्चुअली कंसिडर्ड मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट इन दिस होल सोसाइटी सो दे एक्चुअली द सोसाइटी इज नंबर वन फुलिश प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट ऑल दोज जीवास to give them a physical assault and this is actually not jeevan said in general category it will come in jeevan so all persons will speak that it is jeevan but actually jeevan says actually jeev is jeev is jeevatma this body is not uh, jeev this body is not jeev but inside that atma that jeevatma is there so in order to do that uh, mangal of uh, absolute mangal for uh, that jeevatma we have to just uh, give updesh of that भक्ति कृष्ण भजन लाइक ऑफ देश अमृत भक्ति सामृत सिंधु बट विद माय सेल्फिश मोटिव आई एम जस्ट गिविंग हिम सम टेस्टफुल थिंग आई एम गिविंग सम टेस्टफुल एडवाइस विच विल विच विल जस्ट मेक हिज मटेरियल माइंड एंड ऑल दो सेंस ऑर्गन्स विल गेट सपोर्टिव टू इट सो देन ही विल दैट पर्सन विल ऑल्सो सेट दैट दैट ही इज अ बिग महाराज ओ all glories to him in prabhupad also prabhupad also written in some article that those who are actually going towards any sadhu guru vaishnav all world is going towards them then you please be sure that actually he is the actual uh, sadhu guru vaishnav in particular he is just speaking that all the world is going against him and just be sure that he is actual uh, actual he is speaking about that absolute truth and those the question of and reconciliation jaise voting ka time hota like hai like in the time of voting party, party that we have to go to this party or we will go to shake hand with that party and we'll join that party we'll getting a joint venture with that party so it is proper speaking that where there is reconciliation coming are chalo chalo then okay no worries uh, this can happen no worries oh you can go to that party no worries then you can understand this point that uh, definitely there is something wrong don't go at at that point to go because there is contamination tamam duniya ka preaching procedure because all the proceeding procedure of the, the whole world all the principle of this it is going on this uh, principle whole world actually actual uh, now the preaching preaching procedure today going on is actually depending on this factor only in in their one place in internet there is a very renowned uh, acharya according to bhagwan he is not an acharya but according to the worldly people he is a very well known acharya there there is one he has actually given in one internet that that i was just laughing at that that this is not a new thing actually your gurudev have already giving support to him so you are just just to take pratishtha he just want to make sure that he is actually he is actually supporting the international so that is not a new thing i was just laughing at that point so it is actually doing it already from previously only those who are actually intelligent they know each and everything what kind of cleverness you are doing so the thing is that by this kind of thing i have already told proper actually told about this that actually jeev insa is the jeev insa is done when when actually we are uh, we are not giving any the pathway of bhakti to that jeev atma and we are just giving him the opposite way then it is called jeev insa all the jeevas are actually in the bhog avastha they are all just want to get material enjoyment in their life they are already uh, Uh, get into that but uh, by that we are just uh, giving a fuel to fire we are giving we are giving more fuel to them so what is happening uh, their condition becoming more worse so i will just be discussing it tomorrow also what bhagavatam is speaking about this like the case of pururava i have already told like uh, this is not a big case that uh, by uh, we can we can just give some tasteful uh, talking with the others and he will definitely uh, uh, think of me then uh, when i will uh, forcefully uh, uh, if i will just uh, put some siddhant vijay then he will go against me definitely when i will just speak about that absolute truth transcendental absolute then he will not actually listen to that he will not agree to that but propa told that the current pervade tide of this material world is a seemingly unpleasant duty of gorima 
That is the actual duty of Gaudiyamat. This is the only duty of the Gaudiyamat. The Gaudiyamat has taken a tender on this. Has taken a tender that whosoever is going on the opposite direction, negative direction, then you have to just take them and uh, in front of me. Hey, you come here. What you are preaching? That is the actual unpleasant duty. That's why the those the actual vani of Gaudiyamat, the strict vani of Gaudiyamat. That is the actual vani of Prabhupada. Uh, your vani, you are actually just making la puja pratishta from the world. Nobody will actually care about you. The actual vani of Gaudiyamat means is actual vani of Prabhupada and uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Prabhupada already told this point that thus all these people should get arrested and we should they should get uh, to this pathway, actual pathway of bhakti where they are actually going. Uh, where, where that uh, that acharya is doing actually doing hinsa, he has just giving me money position and he just uh, given me a nice arrangement for a woman. That is actually hinsa. You are actually foolish number one. You can't understand what is actually Jeev Hinsa. He has actually done Jeev Hinsa that Acharya. He in the name of Bhakti actually not giving any Siddhant which are to you. But in, pla- in place of that he has arranged all material uh, things for you. That's why Prabhupada told that to give Jeevatma that uh, Uddesh of Bhakti. If you are not giving that you are giving him the reverse negative direction. That is actually called Jeev Hinsa. This is the actual meaning of Jeev Hinsa. Now whatever is what is going on in the whole material world. Are I am actually giving Udvek to you. I actually love you. That's why I will give you Udvek. That's why I will give you Udvek. If I will not give Udvek, then he will not understand this point. Oh, you have to go this. Don't go that way. Don't go negative way. You have to go on the positive way. So that's why. This all this vakya vek, you have to just there is only one way to get control over it. There is only one way that is uh, to control over it, that in order to get uh, control over that vakya vek, that always you have to uh, hear and and always have to remember uh, Supreme Lord Shri Hari and always have and you don't uh, uh, talk rubbish material talkings with anyone. Just always used to speak about Harinam Sankirtan, where, uh, by which, by doing all material talks, so, uh, Yamraji will get the adhikar on him and he will be just uh, dealing his case. Like, this slok, very, very beautiful slok, this is actually. So, Vakya Vek actually. You, they, there is only one way to control it and uh, that is that you have to divert it towards Krishna you have to just uh, remember and you have to speak about Harinam Sankirtan there is no other way because by speaking Vakya means whatever adhikar ev- everyone has the adhikar to speak but if you will just uh, divert it towards Krishna Katha then it will be, you will get control over our Vakya Vek definitely you have to do Harinam Sankirtan and Harikatha of Kirtan and not speaking anything material. Then only he can control his Vakya Vek. Don't speak any Gramakatha like material talkings. Mahaprabhu also speaking to Raghunath Das Goswami Path. That that is the only way to get Vakya control over Vakya. Prabhupada always used to speak this point. Prabhupada in the Pravachan of Prabhupada I have already seen that those persons actually those who are actually taking Mount Vrat, that they will not speak anything. They have taken a vow of not speaking. Keeping silence, not speaking anything. Those who have taken that vow, then for them actually, it is a big message uh, what Prabhupada has told. Just please hear, just by opening your ears, this message. 
दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ वॉट काइंड ऑफ what kind of uh, dream like situation you have of that mon vrat the prabhupa speaking that all those bonded souls every they just to stop talking uh, with their tongue and what and they are just making a uh, uh, they are just making a making another way to just not to speak anything so it actually becomes uh, negative they go in the negative direction everything gets reversed because because inside their uh, uh, this material shabd is already there inside their uh, uh, inside their stomach like bhut bhat bhut all this sound is going on inside their stom- stomach and because just be careful about this point because because they haven't get control over their material mind and chit be- the first thing is that they haven't get control over their material mind they do so definitely naturally there will be vakya vega inside his heart because wa- whether he is actually he externally he becomes a moni baba he is not speaking anything to anyone so what is the point on that because he hasn't control his material mind up till now so prabhupada already spoke spoken about this point a lot of time in vaishnav ke as well he has actually taken uh, mon vrat uh, so that he can get pratishtha from the whole uh, material world the all the all the bonded soul proper speaking that all the bonded soul don't have this much of uh, effort this much of uh, thinking that in their bonded condition they can become in mon avastha because that material world is already there inside their in stomach always doing bhut bhat bhut bhat this sound going up and down inside the stomach that material world is going material world is going on and what they have just uh, uh, taken that they have just zipped out of their mouth because bonded soul don't have this kind of power that uh, to control that uh, what kind of material world inside their stomach there is no other way they don't have the way to control that vakya vek because they haven't got control over the material mind and they have just become moni baba how they have become moni baba those who those have already their heart and mati- mind always on to the lotus white of uh, krishna and always have hari katha inside their heart all the time every hari katha is going on inside their heart for them it is possible to get control of uh, over vakya vek when they will get uh, all the roop gun leela parikar vishishta of uh, bhagwan and in a silent mode they will just do uh, hari bhajan all the time but uh, all others they can't do like all the bonded soul can't do this they can't do nirjan bhajan at all for them it is not possible for all those bonded souls nirjan bhajan is not possible at all so there are lot of people also those they are actually just uh, using foul language in front of uh, pure guru vishnu because they don't want to hear uh, uh, kirtan from their heart one day once happened in the chuchura city chinsura city it is a Brit- british time city chinsura uh, in bengal this chinsura chuchura city chinsura city or from british time in chuchura what happened param param puja keshav goswami maharaj went there and uh, went to the m- and wanted to build one month uh, he has just taken the responsibility of one month in chuchura city uh, that place of shri nivas acharya lot of uh, ups and downs were and a lot of people are going against uh, keshav goswami maharaj so so much uh, robbers and all uh, foolish people they just came uh, against uh, keshav goswami maharaj and all those materials they are all using foul language against koriyamat and in front of uh, maharaj ji was they go why you are sadhu why you are came here what is the use uh, what is the use of coming to the city because sadhu always come in the jungle why you have come to the city for what purpose you have come to the city to to disturb us then keshav goswami maharaj speaking that actually i went to the jungle but then i saw that in chichura city there uh, there are actually people who are more dangerous than all those uh, animals beast that uh, i went to the jungle the, actually all the animals have come into this uh, chuchura city and these animals are more ferocious than those animals then all the people just get shut up 
that they are asking why you you came here you go to jungle they are saying foolish so in order to get control over baat over there is no other way to get control it to control over it it is only be getting control by remembering and by speaking hari katha kirtan all the time and one point is very vital in this uh, in this uh, point here that uh, because if i will not discuss then this discussion will remain um, unclear there is very one more vital point if i will not discuss this point then my point will just be unclear that that if some if our sense organs we we get control over it or any kind of watch away mano way the most important point in this that the, our material our mind our chit that is the most important that's why amrish maharaj ji actually speaking in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapurana it is written about amrish maharaj श्लोक इन श्रीमद भागवत महापुरुण that if our our mind is uh, not uh, getting uh, control then all the material uh, or sense organs will not get controlled it is impossible to control them it is not at all possible because our heart actually is not uh, uh, coordinating with our uh, sense sense organs then it is all incomplete actually those whose mind is not uh in control and he is actually sitting in harikatha then what use of that so you have to get control over your mind first that is the most important point first is the mind you have to get control over mind first point it is written in bhagavatam that is the most vital if our mind is not in your control then nothing is there ओके अदर वेग्स आर ऑल्सो दे आर क्रोध वेग जीवा वेग मुद्रपस्थ वेग ऑल दिस वेग आर एक्चुअली और कोऑर्डिनेटिंग एंड कनेक्टेड विद योर माइंड क्रोध इज ऑल्सो लाइक एंगर क्रोध इज एक्चुअली एंगर सो यू कैन ऑल्सो यू नो अबाउट दिस एंगर एज वेल इन गीता एक्चुअली भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ट्रैक्टेड those things i have just want to get uh, inside my heart that yes i want to attain this i always want to i mean my heart is just getting attracted to that all that actually in our consciousness it is coming automatically like kans actually is there he always want to just kill krishna and always plan to uh, making plan and program to kill krishna कंस ऑलवेज इन हिज माइंड हिज थिंकिंग दैट हाउ टू किल कृष्णा सो वॉट द टारगेट ऑफ कृष्णा दैट इज टू किल कृष्णा इट इज ऑल द टाइम गोइंग ऑन इन इन साइड हिज माइंड दैट्स वाई ही इज एक्चुअली इन हिज कॉन्शियनस एवरीथिंग वाइल सीटिंग स्लीपिंग ईटिंग इवन बाथिंग ऑल्सो ही इज एक्चुअली थिंकिंग ऑफ हाउ टू किल कृष्णा ही इज एक्चुअली सींग कृष्णा इन वॉटर एज वेल हू कृष्णा so he is seeing krishna everywhere every time while sitting drinking uh, walking bathing sleeping every time like shishupal also he is also thinking like this the same way as kans is thinking they all these all kind of people actually they always hai to vishana pungsho sangaste subhaja they these people always uh, thinking of in the uh, having a negative bhav inside their heart 
that uh, wo- uh, howsoever it is written in bhagavatam about this anyhow by who can crook who can actually you have to concentrate, you your, have to concentrate your mind on krishna but uh, but in our gaudiya line we can't follow consent and shishupal like this it is just a general term that we have to just uh, get our mind on to the lotus feet of krishna naraji also speaking that any how you have to con- if you concentrate on krishna you will definitely get uh, advantage like all these asuras actually they are actually they get sayujya mukti when they just concentrate on krishna in a negative way so in the way of pathway of bhakti it is actually strictly prohibited that i will just make krishna as my enemy and just do my bhajan this is not at all possible in bhakti samrit sindhu uh, what i have talk about the summary of that bhakti samrit sindhu i will just talk about that that this is actually not uh, anukul for bhakti that is not anukul for krishna bhajan but still uh, krishna swagraj go me actually already speaking this that you have to concentrate on uh, krishna bhajan anyhow naraji maharaj speaking this we will not be doing this but still it is just a uh, uh, saying that she super always thinking of krishna he is get shayujya mukti all, also because he is thinking of krishna in a negative way when when what whatever is going on inside our material heart we will get uh, fruit according to that result according to that so if our heart our mind is actually going on to lotus feet of krishna if our material if our mind is just uh, concentrating and always remembering uh, the lotus feet of krishna we will just divert it if i will just get successful my mind will go if my mind goes on to lotus feet of krishna then my life is successful of this there is no doubt usually it is already written in geeta bhagwan speaking this on uh, what uh, vishay on what uh, conditions we will just uh, just get the uh, get that thing if he will just uh, go on thinking about that uh, thing then automatically he will just associate with that particular thing he will get the association of that particular thing and when he will get that association of particular thing then total uh, there will be actually total kamna was like full of desire he will get in order to get that thing and he will just get wrapped in that uh, ocean of desire because he want that particular thing and he will get that uh, in order to get that thing if he will not get that thing then he will uh, definitely uh, anger will get uh, will take birth if uh, nobody will getting uh, uh, his desire getting not uh, completed at one point then he will definitely get anger anger like ravan is also getting a lot of anger inside him what is the cause of his anger there is only one reason for his anger that is because he is actually having material desire he has lot of anya vilas inside his heart he actually is kami he actually wants to enjoy uh, that his desires he oh, you just take just kill ram just kill sita that's it he, that is his main main motive he has that material desire inside he don't have that idea that ram ji it is not possible to kill ram because ram is that absolute truth he is supreme lord but his uh, mind is just gone out of order he is always he is thinking that just to take sita kidnap sita and <laughs> how it is possible to kidnap uh, shakti of bhagwan and and uh, okay uh, shakti should stay but uh, bhagwan should be killed this is actually the concept of mayavadi what is the fundamental of mayavadi they don't believe shakti tattva they just believe this point why they are not actually believing shakti tattva because they think that then there is that conception of monoism will come that advaitavad that that will get destroyed if that's why we are not actually considering shakti 
they are not actually considering shakti so it means that you just break off that shakti from bhagwan or if shakti is there okay you can just remove bhagwan that is actually mayavad vichar this vichar cannot be uh, uh, posted anywhere this is not at all good this kind of vichar so in order to get control over your mind that is the top most uh, difficult thing and if our mind is and chit is just uh, getting on to the lotus feet of krishna if it is just uh, stayed connected to the lotus feet of krishna then our life is successful so all this vakya veg manu veg krodh veg i have already told you about the krodh veg a little uh, small description about that prapti ka hamara andar mein kamna basa that we have desire material desires of for, for that particular thing if i am not getting that particular mati- material thing then uh, i will get anger anger angry mood inside me that uh, anger is more uh, uh, fiery than fire if someone is getting a uh, angry attitude inside him uh, angry attitude inside him then you can understand one thing that he will uh, whatever bhajan he has done previously all uh, gone into water nothing will remain if there is a uh, angry attitude inside his heart and uh, uh, krodh means angry angry means it is uh, krodh means uh, punarling in uh, sanskrit so and man is actually streeling to ye jo hai krodh jo hai so krodh actually it is more uh, uh, fiery than fire and is more dangerous than fire fire can only can uh, burn us up to what and uh, like uh, Uh, water and carbon dioxide we can just uh, uh, by carbon using carbon by carbon dioxide we can just uh, remove the fire but uh, this growth this anger you cannot remove with carbon dioxide it is very very dangerous to handle this growth it is so much dangerous and will destroy will bring us so much destruction that our whole earth will get destroyed like the mars planet lot of persons were living there be but because of nuclear war everything get destroyed there it can be there so krodh is the top most uh, barrier in the way of our bhajan so that is a very major thing to get control over it if some person is not getting control over this krodh vek then if he has done any bhajan or seva everything will get destroyed in his way nothing will nothing will remain everything will uh, be just uh, destroyed if uh, sadhu guru vaishnav don't have any angry attitude inside their heart if they have if they are getting a uh, angry attitude then actually it is positive angry angry they are getting because narottam thakur already speaking that it is a positive growth uh narottam thakur also speaking in his kirtan that if i will divert this growth uh towards uh, those who are actually um, uh, disrespecting guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav then i will just uh, i will just uh, divert it towards them that is that will actually become bhajan so it will get converted into bhajan automatically when you will divert it towards uh, those who are actually disrespecting pure guru vaishnav like sati devi actually uh, with krodh with full angry attitude she actually just destroyed her own body uh, with fire because of, uh, his father actually is uh, not uh, uh, his father actually daksh daksh is not actually daksh prajapati is not actually respecting pure guru vaishnav that's why she actually i will not keep this body so much anger was there she actually burned her own body with her own fire because shankar bhagwan's disrespect she cannot bear so that's why she just left her body but but it is done for vaishnav so that's why she is not getting destroyed she has already uh, left her body and she, again she again uh, uh, take the birth in the form of daughter of himalaya she came again so there is no actually uh, disadvantage in that bhagwan ka sthan 
you have to always to take shelter of the uh, uh, always to take shelter of the place where bhagwan is always there residing dham but with a positive mood always if you have that anger and love inside you then it, you should have that greediness to hear hari katha all the time that is actually bhajan this will become bhajan only so how you are actually narottam thakur speaking this in kirtan that is actually diverting it towards bhajan this narottam das thakur speaking so krodh actually is uh, if it comes in the way of the sadak if krodh comes if it comes in the life of a sadak uh, that tamogun krodh will if he will get inside it then all his bhajan everything will all security will get destroyed it will just burn up if actually by gradual procedure agar if he is actually following the gradual procedure of bhajan gradual bhajan ka agar gradual procedure agar follow kare to humko manna hai then definitely you have to follow, then you have to definitely follow the shri upadesh amrit of rupa ko swami badan bhakti ra samne sundu this step by step procedure you have to follow adho shraddha tato sadhu sang and all tato anarth nivritti this actually anarth in indra samra sindhu is already written about this that is also written in upadesh amrit as well bacho begam manasa this shloka actually this what rupa swami pad se this is actually coming in uh, anugatya only and all those uh, all the six vegas six, six kind of enemies which are there inside our uh, fine form uh, present in fine form these all kind of short repus six enemies if we will not get control over them in sadhan in sadhan avastha then that sadhak will definitely if the sadhak in his sadhan bhakti condition if he will not get uh, uh, control over all these uh, six enemies inside his fine form then all in the in the temple of bhagavad bhakti he cannot get entry that sadak he has to get he has to get control over this shadvik so maharaj uh, uh, we will just discuss about ras leela what to get control over six shadri pus if one person actually who has that much uh, audacity inside his heart that uh, he is actually following rupa goswami pad and is actually speaking that uh, don't need to get control over the shadow repo then uh, we will discuss ras leela if he has that uh, thing is if he has that uh, in rupa goswami pad already in uh, rasamrit sindhu uh, he is actually just making name in the in as a uh, rupa nuga devotee he is um, he is actually thinking himself as rukanu but actually he hasn't steal the aprakrit stool and urine of uh, rup go swami pad he hasn't seen that rup go swami pad ka aprakrit to takti pe sab hi dekha the but he is thinking that what anukai bhav nugatte will do of rup go swami he is actually going against rup go swami pad so this all kind of six enemies you have to if you will not uh, uh, get control over them then you will definitely not be able to uh, follow the pathway of shila rup goswami path that to do bhakti anushilan in the way of bhakti you have to get control over all these six kind of enemies that is the most important time that is a very famous point in a way of that bhakti anushilan sadaks have to be very careful they have to just control over these uh, six enemies that is very dangerous always the sadak have to think and they always uh, just uh, uh, you know uh, they will just make them naked by not following the uh, pathway of bhakti these shad shadavik and all those bhakt if they will take the sharanagati onto lotus feet of krishna and just by uh, declining all those ten kind of nama prat and they will just take shelter of pure guru vaishnav and then uh, and be taking all, all the shuddh bhakt sang 
they will definitely get to eliminate they are having that inside their heart that they want to eliminate all the shadowy poos then it is okay it is possible for them to get eliminate to get uh, rid of all this shot repose but if they are not actually following that pathway of pure guru vaishnav then they will definitely get naam aparadh and different different kind of uh, uh, aparadh he will uh, uh, just get inside his heart he will collect that and and that is very dangerous for him him or her so madam matsar all these are six kind of enemies in five form it inside our body so we have to get control over that what so we have to follow that uh, <coughs> if we are following the uh, following the updesh amrita roop ko swami pal like pacho vegas manopur then automatically all the earth will get destroyed and with the earth and with the earth inside our heart we cannot do krishna bhajan it is not possible that we can do krishna bhajan prabhupada already speaking that in anarth yukta vastha you cannot do krishna bhajan at all you cannot do krishna bhajan after getting rid of all the anarthas by just taking the shelter of uh, guru pad padma by taking the mercy of guru pad padma then there is actually sambandh gyan uh, activated inside our heart and uh, after that when we get our relationship and all the uh, on our sarcon then all the six kind of enemies are already controlled and then now you can just take shelter of your guru vaishnav and now there is no problem at all so prabhupada has spoken this point a lot of times that that with anarth and krishna bhajan cannot be possible permanent krishna bhajan permanently cannot be possible hari bhajan it is impossible to do without uh, uh, without with anarth actual bhajan will start after when your anarth will go from your heart so what shloka i have started previously if we will just follow that with gradual procedure then automatically all those six enemies will get controlled automatically and you will definitely do hari bhajan because it is written there that टेकिंग इट इन साइड इन इन टू आर लाइफ देन इट इज वेरी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक इन साइड इन टू आर लाइफ बिकॉज भक्ति में ठाकुर हैज ऑलरेडी इन कीर्तन हैज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द टोटल भावा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कीर्तन हाउ ही हैज एक्चुअली डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट दिस वाग वाचो वेगम दिस श्लोका हाउ ही हैज एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन इट इन द इन इज होन कीर्तन how he has actually demonstrated that bhava in the, in his own kirtan it is actually written there that that all kind of six enemies uh, it is impossible to get control over them but still it is possible how how it it is by the mercy of all guru vaishnav pure guru and bhagwan kripa you can get control over all the shadgus shadripus That oh Hari, I am actually into got drawn, fallen into this uh, prapanchik Maya according to my own karma fall, and I am just fallen into this um, material uh, by prapanch, and there is no other way, Krishna, to get out of this. There is no other way to get out of this. So, so you are actually Akdir Gate. You don't have. do for you are for those who don't have any pathway apart from you so that's why i just take shelter of your lotus feet you just please take me away from all this shadripus 
and uh, whatever uh, gyan regarding to karm material gyan whatever power like any power of gyan and karm i don't have anything inside me ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दैट वॉट एवर कर्म विद फ्रूट वी आर गेटिंग then i don't have any sadhan bhajan nothing but i have only one uh, confidence that you are actually kripa maya and i am nothing i am beggar in front of you you are actually kripa maya full of mercy i have only one uh, confidence that is on you that i am actually beggar and you are actually everything for me it's already written na but those people are actually uh, describing it in a other way because gurudev already is speaking this point yogyata vichare kichu nahi paaye it is already written but it is correctly written but but you there should not be any duplicacy in sharnagati if there is duplicacy in sharnagati then it is not possible then it will not work those who are actually sharnagat the 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 yogyata is always there inside the heart of a sharnagat bhagat because gurudev will already automatically give that yogyata that uh, adhikar provided he is 100% sharnagat on to lotus feet of pure guru vishnu there should not be any duplicity in sharnagati automatically it will come that adhikar will come automatically because it will be given by guru maharaj only your uh, mercy is my support so you are all kripa mai i am actually beggar this is my only confidence i'll just i just want a hai to kripa from you ar pakko mono beg krodo jiv va beg udaro bossa beg all these kind of guruji pakko mono beg krodo jiv va beg udaro upastho beg miliya e sob sansare bhashaye उदाहरण मिजरेबल ओशन ऑफ मटीरियल ओशन एंड दे आर जस्ट गिविंग मी डिस्ट्रेस फ्रैक्शन आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी सेकेंड एंड बाय माई ओन एफर्ट माई ओन माई ओन इंडिविजुअल एफर्ट नाउ आई एक्चुअली हैव जस्ट my own individual effort i have just left it now i don't have my own personal effort now i have already left that by our own personal effort actually it is not possible how for up till how much point you will go it is impossible by your own personal effort to uh, get control over this shardipus so i have only one confidence that is you This is already written in uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur's Kirtan. There's a to- uh, total meaning is there uh, in that Kirtan. If he actually not getting the shloka, but he also used to definitely has to do this Kirtan. This is Marman Vaar Git Kirtan of uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He has actually such. मर्म अनुवाद 
that is the actual summary of that shloka what rup goswami pad has told bhakti vinod thakur has written it in in a summary form of in the form of kirtan bhakti vinod thakur actually has written, uh, written fully about the summary of this shri upadesh amrit and then uh, about the first shloka of uh, upadesh amrit and then he has done uh, written in uh, bhajan lala sa about his marmanuvad about the shloka of rup goswami pad in the form of kirtan that is the actual summary that is the actual summary of that uh, first shloka of shila rup goswami pad in the form of kirtan he has already written that and after that bhakti nath thakur has already written and after that prabhupad he has uh, written one bhashya under the guidance of uh, bhakti vinod thakur prabhupad has written one bhashya under the anugat of bhakti vinod thakur shila prabhupad has already written the bhashya of uh, this uh, shloka that those kathas which are against katha krishna katha do you are just listening to material katha those kathas which are material katha which are against krishna katha he already explained this point if you are just uh, uh, leaving krishna uh, krishna and uh, uh, things related to krishna if you are just leaving them those who are just speaking all uh, rubbish talks all it is actually coming in the category of vakya vek and when our material desires are not getting fulfilled we are not getting that fulfilled then we have already explained that aprotihat prapti when we are not getting our mate then definitely anger will take birth we have already explained this point kisne taro katha pak bek tar naam kamer atripte kaam ka atripti ho jaye then when uh, your material desires are not uh, fulfilled then definitely anger will take birth definitely anger will get uh, will get birth and this actually anger by the support of this uh, mind he will uh, can do lot of things he is having uh, want to take uh, nice nice food delicious food they are actually the servant of their tongue because they are actually serving their tongue by just taking nice nice delicious food kaam ka atripti ho gaya and isliye krodh ve ya mon ko mon ka sahara le they are actually just taking the support of mon also just by keeping silent and they just want actually the servant of tongue also by just taking nice nice delicious delicious foods sushadu bhajan sil jiv bhavik das and just to take a lot of food he has that desire inside his heart he will actually def- definitely do the servant he will be the servant of maya definitely and joshiter bhitto shai stroino those who are actually the servant of yashit yashit or the servants of yashit they are taking uh, if kamini kanjan is also counted in yashit then its value will become more uh, prompted it will become more valuable that yashit word straino kamer kinkor uposto beger bashe kondor bhutak कंट्रोल दे those have already controlled the six kind of enemies in fine form which are present inside our heart inside our fine body 
then automatically he will just get control over the whole world he can rule the whole world Prabhupada, Thakur Prabhupada actually has written this Kirtan and you, this is very difficult to understand but because actually this is actually the this is actually the this is the summary of Upadesh Amrit, this Kirtan this is actually the Anuvritti of Shri Upadesh Amrit what Prabhupada told He is actually just taking the shelter of the instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu. What the Sixth Ashtakam Gorang Mahaprabhu has told on that only Rupa Goswami Pad has just summarized the Sushi Rupa Deshamrit. There is a new new name. So much names are there. Actually, Kalpanic names. means that you, you those people don't want to follow Upadesh Amrit at all. persons he can also take the shelter of uh, Shri Upadesh Amrit he can also take the ashray of that of Shri Upadesh Amrit written by Shidharup Goswami Pad the first Ruchi is That is the first of Shuddha Bhakti, Shuddha Bhakti for those, all those Shuddha Bhakti. That is just an indication. That is the actual indication of the Shuddha Bhakti. You have to follow that all those bonded souls can uh, become uh, uh, pure by just following the Shuddha Amrita of Rupa Goswami. And he will get the Kripa of Srila Rupa Goswami path. And he will just uh, be go on the pathway of Rupa Nubhavakti. It is already written in Bengali, Bengali language. So in this way, Prabhupada, by this Kirtan, those who actually don't understand Bangla, it is not possible for them to understand this. But in this Kali Yuga, uh, or for or for the for the Rupa Goswami Pad is speaking that uh, just to deliver all the bonded soul, uh, Gorang Mahaprabhu has instructed me about that. Rupa Goswami Pad's heart actually wants to uh, say that that all merciful Gorang Mahaprabhu, uh, so that he can deliver all the uh, bonded souls. He has just given me the instruction of uh, Gorang Mahaprabhu. That is the six task to come. And by the lotus mouth of uh, Shri Rupa Goswami Pad, whatever I have actually uh, got to hear about that.
Just by hearing uh, the instructions from the mouth of the lotus mouth of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, it is already written there. Prabhupada explaining this that whatever we have learned from that, from Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, and whatever the pathway of Srila Mahaprabhu, the instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu, we have to follow that. And we will, and all, so that all those jivas can get uh, delivered and they can get that prema. So that's why I am just uh, giving this Shri Upadesh Amrit, uh, this Granth. So in uh, Hari, I can't discuss it. Uh, so up till now, up till I will just uh, give it uh, a rest here and I will just uh, speak it tomorrow.